welcome all today in the session we are going to learn that how we can rerun the failed test cases in selenium using test engine so for that purpose i have already a framework here selenium uh, srivani automation framework and uh, i'm just taking the example that i have a test case file which contains two test cases in my user registration test one is validate first name and another is validate middle name so intentionally what i have done i've just written a code uh, of the validate middle name in such a way so the test cases fail so actually you can say in my framework when i will run this uh, you can say framework it will execute two test cases one will pass and one will fail it so let me run it so i'm going to run it so this is my test ng xml file so i have just make a uh, you can say uh, entry of this user assistant test but i'm going to run it with the help of my frame uh, uh, pom pom.xml because that is the you can say may one project so let me run it so i'm going to run it so when i'm going to run it you will see that i'm going to show you that so that you can see that it is running the uh, uh, framework and it is running this user assistant test file and when test case will pass and when test case will fail so you will see that it will uh, only fail it and it will not retry uh, to run the failed test case again so my execution is completed and now if you'll go and check your logs here you can simply see that here that my total test case run are two here and one is failure okay so here you can clearly see that one test case is pass and one test case is fail and it does not try to rerun it if you want to rerun the failed test cases manually the first option is that you can simply go to this test output uh, folder here and in this test output folder you will see that there is a file that is called test ng fail.xml so actually by default this file is created by the test ng uh, so uh, and the purpose of this file is that whenever any test case fail actually it makes a it makes a, a entry of that uh, failed uh, test case in this test ng fail.xml and if you want to run only the failed test case you can simply run this file like this one right click on this file and simply run as test ng so this test ng fail.xml is actually you can say just like a replica of test ng.xml but it only contains only the entry of the failed test case so this is for your convenient that if you want to run your failed test cases again now this is the thing you can say that uh, this is uh, this is the thing which is you can achieve it manually but if you want to but if you want to uh, 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 if you want to you can say that achieve this thing in our automation if you want to achieve this thing in our automation so that uh, this retry uh, thing uh, is you can say taken care by the framework in that case you have to implement some code in your framework so the first step is that what is the first step the first step is that you have to create a class okay first of all you have to create a class in your framework so i'm going to create a class in my main one so i'm going to create a class this is the class this one you can say this is i'm just giving the name of you can give any name field retry test cases so now the first condition is that the, your class should implement the retry analyzer interface so here i'm going to implement the this class retry analyzer so let me import it okay i imported it now this class contains some method which you have to implement that is called retry so actually you can say this retry method is uh, responsible for uh, that how many times you want to retry or you want to rerun your failed test cases so actually in this retry method you have to write a logic till the time it will return false it means if this function will return till the time this function will return true it will keep on calling this function again and again and when this function is going to return false it will stop calling this function so actually you have to write a logic so that if you want to rerun your failed test case two time three times so that you have to make a counter you have to make a condition so for that purpose uh, we can do one thing we can first of all uh create two variables here so i'm going to create two variables here one is you can say max retry count max retry count means how many times you want to retry if you want to retry your failed test case to execute again two times or three times whatever you want to uh, uh max retry count you want to put it you can put it here so it can be two three whatever you want i'm just putting it two and this is the counter so that i will track okay my uh my count my uh, my retry is reached uh, to the max retry count or not so now we're using this two uh you can say uh two variables i'm going to write a logic okay so now what will be the logic logic is very simple i will do one thing i will do 
in this place i will write a logic and logic is very simple i will put a condition if retry count is less than max retry count it means uh, because i have to reach the re uh, reach the max count to 2 3 whatever is that so for that i will try if my retry count is less than max retry count it means we have to execute it more time okay so that's why in that condition i have just put a you can say that uh, uh, sop a log here so that in the console we can see that it is trying one time two time it is just like a messenger actually what we are doing we are just uh, incrementing the count for the next and then we are returning true returning true means if this when the control will come to here it will retry count first time first time okay in the first time retry count will be less than max retry count so this condition will be true control will come to here and it will turn true so when it, it will return true it means again it will come to this function here and it will retry so till that time retry count will not reach to the max retry count this condition will be true and every time it will return and my test case will rerun and when the condition will be fail means my retry count will be you can say try to reach greater than max retry count it will return false and my retry count a logic will stop here so i hope you understand that first of all first step is that you have to create a retry fail test cases class which should implement a retry analyzer and in retry you have to write a logic that how many times you want to run your your fail test cases now second step is that you have to create a another class you have to create another class that is you can say that retry listener class so you can give again you can give any name here but important thing is that this class should implement the you can say interface that is called i annotation transformer so i am going to import this thing here okay so now in this class in this class you have to override a method and what is the method so you can say the method syntax i am going to tell you the method syntax the method syntax is this one uh okay this one this is the method syntax and in the method you can say that you have to write a code to execute your java file which is which contains the logic of retry so my you can say my uh, retry uh, uh, function is written in this class so you have to give the reference of this class in this retry listener transform function how you can do it for that purpose there is a parameter in this function that is called test annotation so your test annotation contains a function that is called set retry analyzer so you can call that function here and simply you can pass the you can say your retry class reference here so you have to simply write this thing test annotation set retry analyzer and you have to give the name of this class because this class contains your this class contains your actual retry method here so this is the second step third step is that you have to go to your testng file you have to go to your testng file like i'm going to here so where is your testng xml file this is your testng xml file and in the testng xml file after the suit you have to make a entry this one listener and in the listener you have to give the give the path of the class of retry listener class so actually now i will tell you the complete flow when you run your uh, project like pom.xml it will call the testng xml and the testng xml it will see that okay there is a listener that is retry analyzer class it will go to this class and it will see that in the transform transform method you are just uh, calling a retry uh, class that is retry fail test case it will go to this retry fail test cases and here it will run this method so according to this method it will uh, see that it need to run two times three times four times depending on the condition of max retry count okay now uh, i am going to show you that it is running uh, you can say it is running uh, perfectly or not it is uh, tracking everything or not so for that purpose let me run the project again so let me pom.xml run as and let me see maven test here so now you will see this time what should happen it should run the test case because my one test case is pass was passing one test case was failing so it should retry the failed test case two times two times retry count will be two times so let's see that what happens here okay okay what is the problem there's maybe i have not saved it let me go okay so let me return return maybe uh maybe it is not refresh properly let me wait and test here again okay 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 let me run let me run okay now it is running now it is running okay what problem is what is the problem 
what is the problem there's something problem i don't know maybe it is not refreshing something if you try and larger class is there yeah that is okay uh this one is okay maybe i have oh maybe i have not saved here okay let me save it here and now let me retry let me check tsng xml yeah that is also okay okay now let me again run so let me run as maven test here so maybe it was not saved that's why it was not uh, considering that retry okay let me run it yeah you can see that there was a problem in the saving of file so now it is running so now you can say that in the uh, you can say screen you have seen that it has read run the test cases so now we can check the same thing using the using the locks also so in the locks you can say that here you can say that this test case was failing previously valid middle name try count one again try count two because we have mentioned the count two times and here you can say the total test case run are four because one test case was fail passing and one case was failing and failing test case it ex try to execute you can say two more times now same thing you can see that if you want to uh, increase the retry count like your every test case should at least try three times so you can put it three times four times so let me show you by putting it only three times and this time what you will see that it will uh, rerun the failed test case you can say three times so according to c according to that you will see that it will rerun it so let me let me let me retry and this one may one test so in this way uh, this is our uh, two uh, three step process actually you have to create a you can say uh, uh, two java files one is retry field test cases when retry listener class and i will told you that how you can implement it and at last in the test ng xml file you have to put the path of that file now here you can see that if i'm going to run it if i'm going to run it here you can see that okay here you can see that it is uh, you can say run one run to pass run three pass and test run to power here you can see that retry retry again counter is one retry counter is three retry counter is three so here you can say it has tried to run it three times because we have give the here three times here so in this way you can implement your retry things here i hope you like the video so you can implement it uh, in your own framework and if you like the video you can click on the like button if you have uh, any query you can put in the comment of this video uh, and if you have not subscribed my channel till now you can subscribe it okay thank you